the life is fast in the Noah Park, you see. People they dying, you see the gangsterism, and you see all that, man. It's school holidays, but a densely populated neighborhood in Hanover Park sees very few children playing outside, and there is a conspicuous silence on the streets. This part of the suburb is called the Valley of Plenty, and it's known to locals as the territory of the Mongrels Gang. Here, gangs recruit boys as young as 10 as foot soldiers to carry guns and even take part in shootings. I was 10 years old when I got involved with the gangs. And um, I went to prison at the young age, uh, 16, 17. I belong to a mongrel gang. I was around between 14 and 15. When I became a mongrel, I was one of the youngest mongrels at at that time. Members of Ceasefire, a pilot project launched in Hanover Park in January, aims to significantly reduce the violence in the area, which they see as a disease that can be treated and even cured through active intervention. It's a new thing, it's been done before, it's the first time in Africa and we are the first partner of our American counterparts. So yeah, it started out in about 2010 that we met the counterpart and we sort of did some research in regards to a public health approach and a different way to approach violence. And then in 2011, we had some training done with some interrupters and guys here from Hanover Park, Cape Town. In 2012, we did a baseline with guys from Hanover Park. And in 2013, we launched the program uh, beginning of this year. Ceasefire works in conjunction with the community and with the consent of gang bosses. The campaign says reformed gangsters who work as violence interrupters are essential to the success of the project. I got the privilege to work with the Iris guys. And through the grace of God, I got the privilege to change their minds and tell them, guys, the life that you want to live, it's something wrong because I did love that life. And there's only two ways in that life. Rather you go to jail or you get killed if you are a gangster today. External assessments of the ceasefire campaign saw a 50% reduction in gang violence since its inception. Next, ceasefire aims to target Mannenberg, another high-risk area for gang activity. Renee de Villiers, Eyewitness News, Hanover Park.